Yo guys, Act 3 came out the other day, and it was quite possibly the hardest event in TDS history. It went from near impossible without glitches. Fast forward a couple days, they nerfed the event, and now it's comically easy to solo. And today I'm going to show you guys how to solo it using a beginner-friendly loadout. No accelerator, no minigunner, no golden skins, no special towers. Let's get to it. Okay, so when we spawn in, we want to put down as many ace pipes as possible. Get them up to level 2. And we want to spread them out. That way they cover the majority of the center of the map. All we want to do is get every ace pilot up to level 2. And make sure we get 8 of them down. There we go. We put down our ace pilots. We spread them out. With this strategy, we probably will leak here and there. But that's fine. We're not trying to get a flawless victory. We're here just to get the win. Make sure to collect the batteries. Because we're going to need that against the boss later on. And what we're going to do next is save up for some level 3 ace pilots. Let's buy our first one now. Once we get about three or four of these, we can proceed to work on our support towers. And there's our fourth. Now we're going to put down our DJ right here on this fence and try and get her up to level three as soon as possible. Now we're going to go ahead and upgrade our first plane to level four. And we're going to get our second level four ace pilot over here. Just making sure they're on opposite ends. That way they cover different parts of the map. You could use a different formation of ace pellets, but I kind of just threw them down randomly. No real method to my madness. But once we're able to unlock a max ace pellet here, we will be chilling. Right now, I think it's time for us to get our commander ability down. Get the ability, use it right away. And we'd want to get our second commander on the opposite side, on this fence pose. Upgrade it when you can. The great thing I like about ace pellets and snipers, they can't be stunned by the boss. And they can't be stunned by the knights that come around and poke things with their sword. So they're really good, very versatile. Now we can get our third commander to begin the chain. And now we can chain all three commanders nice and safely. What we would want to do next is upgrade a few more of our planes to level 4. And then save up for a max ace pilot afterwards. But yeah, the strategy works pretty well. I've done a run like this already and I beat it in my first try. So it isn't the fastest method by any means, but it gets the job done. So if you're struggling, maybe you don't have friends to play with, you don't know what you're doing, just use the strategy. And there we go, we got our first max ace pellet. And I think it's time that we save up for the max DJ. And you want to be constantly always grabbing the batteries, they're very essential for the end game. I don't really see the benefit of rebuilding these walls. In my position, I would rather save my money for upgrades. They're quite expensive, 1.2k. Like if you add up all of these doors that you can buy, you're spending a lot of money just to block them off when you could get like a maxed ace pilot or two. You know what I'm saying? So in my opinion, I would skip rebuilding the walls here and just focus on DPS. If you're playing in a grouped game, I feel like it's valid to buy the doors, but I think in solo, so long as you put enough towers down to deal damage, you should be fine. Max DJ now. Now the strategy from here onwards is pretty simple. Just upgrade your ace pilots one by one and you'll be smooth sailing. By the way, if you are interested, my Act 3 video on Sniper Vest Tower will be coming out sometime soon. I've already recorded it, I just have to work on the editing process. Now, you might be wondering why I haven't placed any snipers yet, and I will place some down, but not until after I upgrade all my aces to max. And there we go, all our ace pilots are maxed out. It's time for us to upgrade one of our commanders to level 4, and then we're going to go ahead and spam snipers on every cliff in the game. Okay, so a couple waves have passed and I've spammed my snipers down all the way up to the tower limit. The only things left to do is upgrade our other two commanders up to max and then chain and wait for the boss. Now it's time for us to wait over here at this tower. We got to make sure to use multiple towers when fighting the boss. So there we go. Use the first one. It's the second one. We want to use all three at once. Oh, also... We want to target one hand, all three towers. Here we go. We're beaming the hand down. And both hands are dead. It's really that simple. Just run around using all three lights at the same time. And you can win easy like that. Anyways, if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, 
Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.